Hey everybody, DP Man here, and welcome back to Pokemon Shield Blind. Last time, we got into Galar Mine 2, and we fought Team Yell right up there where that binnacle is hopping. We also beat Nessa, the water type gym leader, and managed to catch a few Pokemon in here. However, now I am going to go into my box because I did a little bit of training and Pokemon catching off screen. The last Pokemon that you all saw me catch on screen was Noibat, this amazing little thing. Alright, going down the list of things I caught off screen while I was waiting, we have Aracuda, we have Dawdler, we have Applin, we have Joltik, we have Cutiefly, we have Milsery, we have Pikachu, we have Clink, we have Sizzlepeed, we finally managed to catch the Onyx in the wild area. We also managed to catch a Diggersby out in the wild area. We have Grubbin. We have Caterpie. We have Baltoy. We were high enough level to catch Ghastly. We were high enough level to catch Duskull. I found the Zatu out in the wild area as well. I also found a Machoke out in the wild area. I ran into a Beware on random chance at its lowest possible level at the time in order to catch it. It was extremely challenging. Got a Snow Runt, got a Leopard in the wild area, got a Quagsire, got a Blitbug, and I do not know if I caught this one on screen or not, I don't remember, but we also have Ninjask, Eevee, and Shuckle in this box. I just don't remember if I caught them at that time so we have them here in this box as well and that is every pokemon that i have managed to find that i am able to catch at the moment so now without further ado let's go on straight further into the galar mine 2 gotta go this way and fight this guy i thought i was gonna walk straight past him by accident steam power can send any opponent flying oh so you probably have a car coal by the way, I know I've been pronouncing charcoal wrong, so sorry about that. It's not Drillbur. Okay, that's not what I was expecting whatsoever. Wacky, let's go ahead and get rid of this thing. It's level 22. I forgot that I'm significantly overleveled for this. I remember also making fun of Hop every moment I had because of how weak he was. So everybody's level is roughly about level 31, 32. Uh, oh, and Onyx as well. Keep going. There we go. I have one stronger, naturally. Faki seems like it wants to be petted. Okay, well, we'll pet him later then. I'll take a swig of my drink. Oh, he doesn't even have Sturdy? Your Onyx is not good. What incredible power. Guess I was the one sent flying. Oh, he was a railroad conductor. That's why. A rail worker, more like. What's this? We have TM49 Sand Tomb. Pretty useful TM. It's this way. Oh, we have more Stunfisks that I do not want to deal with. Even more Stunfisks. Let's go fishing just to be sure we're not missing anything. Alright, nothing new in there. We just gotta keep going. Hi, Hop. Thank you for helping out with my training, Team Yell, but I must say, it's unforgivable for you to get in the way of a cark hole hard at work. We weren't getting in its way, we were trying to cheer it on. Still, you did a number on us in that Pokemon battle, so it's time for Team Yell to scarper and give a morale boost elsewhere. Bye-bye. Cheering is one thing, but one shouldn't get in the way of honest work. That's Kabu. Man, he's wicked. No wonder he's fire-type gym leader. Ah, oh, you're the trainers endorsed by Leon. Hmm. I'm just training right up until the last moment so that I can guarantee the perfect match when I face you gym challengers. I specialize in Fire-type Pokemon, and the Water-type Pokemon in Galar Mine number 2 are the perfect opponents to train against. Regardless, it's getting late. So go, just go straight once you get out of this mine and you'll reach Motostoke. 
Get a good rest at the hotel and make sure you're both in top condition. So he cares. Come on, Carl Cole. Time for you to head home, too. I'll make sure you get there safely. We're going to be on fire tomorrow. She's just power running. I remember Lee talking about Kabu. He said a lot of gym challengers give up because they just can't beat him. Man, now I'm getting all fired up too. Hey, I'm sorry, but Dreadnought's gonna like throw him away. I'm so sorry, but this is just gonna be true. So we're just gonna skip this little area. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna skip that then. Nothing important there at all. Oh, there is a thing here. That car call from before. I guess it must have been here on a job. You know poker jobs by now, right? I do. Of course you do. Now I'm cream crackered. I'm, I'm for the Badoo drop in and some sleep. Coming tomorrow, that fire gym leader Kabu better be ready, because I'm coming for him. I'm sorry, what is that? Those are knockdowns and pseudo wudos. I'm after the pseudo wudo, thank you very much. Alright, pseudo wudo. If I remember correctly, it is a rock type, not a grass type. So we need to be very careful on what we hit it with. I'm not gonna hit it with branch poke. And I'm gonna hit it with double hit a few times. That should be more than enough to. Yep, there's rock tomb. But I'm fine for now. Oh, my speed's gone. Knock off, see if that does anything more. Yep, that did more. My phone just went off. Okay, we have red health. And now we cannot escape. Oh well. That is not what we're after here. We are after the ability to... Throw a Pokeball. Or a Great Ball at this one. I'm going to start using Great Balls on the regular and stop using Pokeballs after I use all of them this time. Because all of these Pokemon that I'm seeing now are going to be evolved. Well, with the choice of a select few, of course. Select few of them are probably not going to be evolved, so we'll just see how things go. Oh my lord. Freaking pseudo Wudo using like a dance. Let's try a Pokeball. Oh, that's not good at all. That's really not good. Freaking fine then. Let's try a... Let's try another Great Ball. Ooh, I had a great throw. Finally though, that was something rough. Pseudo-Wudo's data was added to the Pokedex. I wonder if... I wonder if Bond slays in this game. Let's go to our Pokemon and switch out, because I believe Thwacky has had enough for now. We're going to switch out to Corvus Wire. Alright, what is this over here? We have an Amulet Coin. Okay, doubles any prize money given if the Pokemon... Okay. Coughing! I know you all too well. I used to use you on my Pokemon team back in the day, back when I was in like the second generation actually. Neutralizing gas. Is that like prevent status effect? Because I don't remember him actually having that move back then. I haven't used a coughing in a long time, just, just to be clear. Last time I used a coughing, yeah, I was... Roughly about the fourth gym in on the Johto region. Okay, that's perfect. And I mainly kept him around because of his tankiness and the fact that he could learn Explosion. Yeah, he was my last resort Pokemon, pretty much. So if I had, like, just two Pokemon left, I would use a Coughing and explode. Wow. Alright, Coughing was caught. Perfect. Corvus Squire grew a level. Decent stats right there. All right.
right. I would not like to give him a nickname. Get it sent to the box. Oh, hi! Hatena! Okay, um... Shoot. I wonder, what's this thing's level so I don't kill... Will I kill it with a pluck? Will I kill it with a pluck? I don't know. The answer is no. So that's perfect, actually. I believe this is one of Bead's Pokemon. He said this was his partner Pokemon, so hopefully we're able to catch Bead's partner Pokemon. There we go. Perfect. Hatena, Psychic type? I would not like to give it a nickname. It's into the box. We also got this Noctowl here. If I remember right, Noctowl is a flying psychic Pokemon of all things. Wait, or is it normal fly? I don't actually remember. So I just know that I'm gonna use a pluck on it. It shouldn't be that effective. Oh, it is. Oh dear, oh dear, okay. Wait, ball it is. Let's try this, and I don't want to kill him. Oh, he actually managed to kill my Corvusquire, so I'm going to use my next Pokemon here. I believe Double Wool is uh, going to be able to just not kill it, because I don't think it has that much uh, frontal attack. I'm going to use Tackle. All right, perfect. Extra Sensory, okay. Not good, but also not bad. Oh, it's dozing off. One more Great Ball. Alright, we caught ourselves a Noctowl. And Coracle leveled up due to that. 3 defense, 3 HP, and some speed. Not that bad. Dallas here. Normal flying. I thought it was a psychic flying. Okay. I mean, it does know some psychic moves. Not bad. Alright, now I'm gonna walk around this grass, see if I can find some more Pokemon that we don't know about. So I'll be just a second. Oh, here we are. We have a wild Pawneard. I have not seen one of these yet. As a matter of fact, I don't think I've ever seen one of these. We're gonna try Water Gun on it. I don't remember what type this thing is. I think, just I think, it is a normal type. I want to say for now it's a normal type, but then it turns into a steel type. Can't use that two times in a row. Alright, Rock Tomb then. This shouldn't do that much damage. Oh! Not very effective, still brings it down to like 1 or 2 HP. There's Metal Claw, that's gonna do some damage. And there's the leftovers pulling in clutch. Alright, let's see if we can catch this thing with a normal Pokeball. Give it the honor. Ah, almost had it. There we go. Caught ourselves a Pawneard. Very, very good. Catching a lot of Pokemon. Double leveled up decently after that. Two and everything. That's not bad. Dark Steel type. Okay, I was right. It was a Steel type at some point. But this thing's a Dark Steel type. I would have never guessed. What's this over here? Bottle of PP up. Oh, oh okay. It specifies now. All right, everyone, I'm gonna go ahead and assume I've caught everything in this area because I got pseudo wudos, knockdowns, coughings. There were rog and rolls and crow gunks and pawniards in the hidden grass section. So, I think, I think I've caught everything. Let's get on going. I do see this trainer down here. She has like a fancy type of Pokeball. I have no idea what that is. 
Uh, there's more grass here. I didn't even realize. Oh, let me get this. Three great balls replenished my stock a little bit. All right, we're going to battle this lady here. Young Pokemon trainer, won't you honor me with a battle? She said, won't you honor me? What Pokeball is that that you have, Miss Caroline? I want that Pokeball. Oh, you have a Yamper. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and... I guess knock off. Yamper used Spark. I must say, though, I do like... I do like how that model of that lady looks. It's rather sophisticated, and it doesn't look too snooty. She looks kind of like how I would imagine. Okay, it's a Madden Swoobat. For a Swoobat, we're going to get out Carcoal. Carcoal hasn't had a chance to shine just yet. I haven't even brought him out on the field. Everybody else has already to battle other Pokemon. Ah, how could I forget? For a second there, I was wondering what what is a Swoobat, but then I remembered. What kind of idiot? There we go. Everything's all said and done. Swoobat is down. Blackie's leveled up too. Ah, pretty decent. Uh -huh. It seems you've already quite used to Pokemon battles. Yes, I am. I really am. I'm a little bit too used to it, in fact, miss. Now, if you'll excuse me. Are you just, like, a police officer ready to, like, arrest me? I don't want you to arrest me, sir. But I will battle you. Hello, hello. What's all this, then? Fancy a scrap with a copper. Uh, how- how about I run away? I will run away from that. Uh, I- uh, No, I want to run. I don't want to look at that man's face ever again. Can you cover up his face with that text? I don't want to zoom in on it. What the- I can't- It's like something you would see in a nightmare. Pokemon, I was wondering when your mistake was going to come in other than not including the Pokedex right off the bat. But this is where your mistake is. That's your mistake. Including that. That's even creepier. Let me leave. I will never return will not return that was to be, I'm, I'm being a hundred percent serious when i say that was probably one of the creepier things i've seen in the pokemon game that guy's face we have this over here we're in moto stoke now nice i don't remember if that's the gym or not i want to say it is so i'm gonna go to the inn do drop in. Let's go do it. Oh, hi. Have you... You haven't seriously gone all the way around, have you? Uh, Challenger, right? Out giving it your all even this late, huh? Hey, help us out for a sec. I want to see if I'm ready for the next leg of the gym challenge. Alright. Wicked. Got some fight in you, huh? You're challenged by Pokemon trainer Marnie. Okay. Cool. Team Yell members in the back. They're seriously just cheering her on. Okay. Seriously just cheering on. I feel awful if I lose, but there's no way I'm gonna. Um, I hate, <laughs> I hate to break these to you, miss. But, uh, not only... Do I have double the amount of Pokemon on your team? But I also so happen to have Pokemon that are quite literally 
like almost 10 levels above you. Please, show me something else. Or else this is going to be a walk-off. Scraggy. Scraggy, okay. You know what? No, actually everybody's weak except Thwacky. So we're gonna pull out... Razor Leaf. We're gonna do Razor Leaf against this thing. Okay, it's gone. Okay. I, did, I was actually worried about that one. I thought Thwacky was gonna die for a second. And then more Pico. Ah, 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 I, I got it. I got it. The electric rat she has. It'd be real fun if things ended just yet. That's why we aren't giving up. Well, I'll tell you one thing ancient power. Hmm, I think it's Moo expresses enough feelings. What do you think? Bite. Oh, flame bite. You're burned now. I'm sorry. Go and just... You are so freaking... Wet? Um... I'm confused. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit confused. I don't know what that is exactly. Does it have more attack power now? Or, do, or are you trying to say, hey, I'm like this Pokemon? You beat me. Guess you must not be too bad after all, huh? Team Yo guys in the back. Guess I'd better get to bed and rest up for tomorrow. You better get some sleep too. The Team Yo members are like, oh my gosh, you lost. How utterly pathetic. <laughs> We're cheering for the wrong person. <laughs> no, I know that's not how this goes. You can't. Oh, that would have been a great screenshot. The next morning. I'm just walking out of the elevator. Morning. That friend of yours already went off to the gym challenge. Kabu's lead card is supposed to help against him, but I ended up with a few copies, so I'll give you one. Don't look chuffed. It's no big deal. Thank you. Take this too. A little something for our battle yesterday. To burn heals. You, really, you need one. <laughs> you need one. <laughs> Bet you'll have no trouble beating that man of fire, Kabu chap, right? Why don't you get over to Motostoke Stadium and get that gym badge already? You know what? I'm... I'll, I like her. I like her. But I don't like Team Yell. I don't. I just don't. Ah, so everybody's like saying, Hey, go! Kill Kabu, he's mean. Oh, hey, Hop. I see you're prepared. Slow moving, aren't ya? Already gone and earned my fire badge. That man of fire, Kabu, is just what you'd expect. Yeah, we got burnt battle with him. Even with my strongest team, I was definitely touch and go, but I still won in the end. Hop. <laughs> with how you exhibited your strength in Galar Mime. You better have raised your team like 10 levels each, or else I will not be impressed. Get a shift on. I bet you could beat the Man of Fire too. I'm more concerned about what kind of puzzle he's actually going to bring my way. I'm not sure. Go on in. Hey, Gym Challenger. What a welcome sight. We don't have too many challengers since our leader Kabu has made a gym mission so hard, but I'll be happy to get you registered. I'm ready. If you're here to challenge our gym, we'll ask you to change your uniform first. I would love to. Hi, bye, hop. Bye, hi, bye, hop. You may find the fire gym's mission a bit different than the others you faced. In you go. 
Oh, that looks like a samurai helmet engulfed in, like, a pair of pliers. What is this? I'm utterly confused. Gym mission for the fire gym is this. Catching Pokemon to earn the most points. Earn five points to clear the gym mission. In case you were wondering, you'll earn one point for defeating a Pokemon on the tall grass, or two points for catching it. But you won't be alone in this competition. Other trainers will be joining you in battles. Think about what your opponents might do and try to take the best action to rack up points. Gym mission start. We caught a Pokemon for two points. There we go. I do not want to give Volpix a name. Oh, we got it. Now, whatever this last Pokemon is, we can freaking kill it or catch it if need be. But I'm most likely I'm going to catch it due to, like, me needing other Pokemon. So, nope, we're going to send you to the box. A Sizzlipede. We are just going to kill this thing. Alright, one Rock Tomb murdered this thing. Perfect. Clearing Leader Kabu's mission like that, you're positively on fire. Next you'll be facing Kabu, the leader of the fire gym. On you go. Thank you. Time to face Kabu. I have a feeling that... Wait, I'm fixing my hair before I go in. Going out the same side. This is different. I I don't think I like this. Welcome. I am Kabu, the fire type gym leader. The fact that you are here means you've bested both Milo's grass type Pokemon and Nessa's water types too. That's quite an accomplishment. Every trainer and Pokemon trains hard in pursuit of victory. But that means your opponent is also working hard to win. In the end, the match is decided by which side is able to unleash their true potential. Some words of wisdom and... Definitely a bit harsh. Oh gosh! That is seriousness if I've ever seen it, and that's probably a thumbnail. <laughs> Sent out nine tails. Oh my gosh! His energy into that throw! I'm not gonna lie, this is intense! Having him just stand there like that is even... Wow! For some reason, I like Kabu a lot. This is gonna be rough. Dreadnought didn't even dent it pretty well. I actually got to think on this gym battle. Never mind. Rock is more effective than the water, then, because that's Dreadnought's specialty. All right. Arcanine. All right, let's keep it up. Arcanine. This is what I'm talking about. Don't be worried at a time like this, Dreadnought. This could be something. This could be something. 
Willow Wisp again, all right? That's gonna lower my physical attack power and burn me. It's gonna suck. You can't tell I'm heavily focusing on this battle because I'm, I'm waiting for him to do something that is going to destroy me. With Milo and Nessa, I didn't really expect much because I was significantly overleveled. But even here, I'm not doing an extreme amount of damage to him. It's not like I'm destroying him. I'm waiting for something to make me worry. Senta Scorch. Light that fire and get your mind moving. Sentis Scorch. Oh my god. It's his last Pokemon. He's gonna Dynamax it. So we have to do Max Rock Fall. Come on, Dreadnought. Let's see if you can handle a Dreadnought. Burn bright, sent his horse. Let Dynam Gate Wait. What was that word? That was a big freaking word. He had fire come from his eyes. He threw it much like Milo did, but with a lot more meanness. Bring it, Senna Scorch. What an intimidating creature. Freaking put him out. It wasn't one shot, and I know it's a bug fire type. Max Flutterby. What does this do? What is that? Is like a fairy type move? Yeah, healed by leftovers. So he got burned. You know what? Let's actually look at what Max Darkness does. I'm very curious. Oh dear. Didn't do anything. <laughs> that special defense fell. I do like the little... Oh gosh, he is doing something to make me worry, actually. I need to attack. No messing around. This is the last time I have for Dynamax. So I need to hit him now. Max Geyser, it should be more than enough to kill him. That was actually awesome. That fight did pose a lot more of a threat than either Milo or Nessa did, and I was still significantly overleveled. Good job. Great Pokemon and a great trainer. It's no surprise that you won. Often regarded as the first real roadblock in the gym challenge, and yet you defeated me. Clearly, your talent surpassed my many years of experience. I still have much to learn. I know now that you and your Pokemon will become a fantastic team. I'm glad I could battle you today. Let me give you a fire badge as proof that you've defeated me. I'm in love with this. His is front and center.
You can now catch up to Pokemon up to level 35. Thanks to the Dynamax phenomenon, our Pokemon battles have become part of the Galar region's culture. And it's the young trainers who are responsible for keeping our culture alive. Of course, I hope that instead of just keeping it alive, it also helps it become something better. We adults will be pillars for you to build on. What a great man. Honestly, I love that fight, and I like him a lot more than I like Nessa or Milo. I figured that if anyone could do it, you and Dreadnought would be the ones. But still, he actually mentions what Pokemon I use? Cool! That match had me on the edge of my seat. Hi. Hello, Yellow. <laughs> I keep forgetting that you even exist, sir. With your crescent moon haircut and your yellow mustache. I see you've done a fine job collecting the gym badges from the grass, water, and fire gyms. Please take this TM to commemorate what you've accomplished here today. Willow Wisp, eh? I was expecting something a little more... Explosive, but... Hey, that works. And take one of our uniforms. It's the same design as Kabu himself wears. I like that. I think you've proven your skill well enough to try your hand against the gyms that await you, starting at the city of Hammerlock. Head back down to the wild area surrounding the city, then make your way to Hammerlock. With all the badges we've earned ourselves, I reckon we should be alright even against the fierce Pokemon you find deep in the wild area. Let's go find out ourselves. You know what? I'm fine with that too. Let's see what awaits us outside. Hi, Hop. Where are we going? Hurry it up. Huh? You're the gym leader, but you still came all the way to, to see us off. Well, I bet you already tell I'm the one who will become the next champion, yeah? There are many trainers who never manage to gather three gym badges, and they just give up on the gym challenge altogether. So I make a point to see off any trainers who are able to defeat me. Phew! We made it. Thank goodness for flying taxis. Congratulations. It's pretty amazing you two defeated Kabu. Not a lot of gym challengers are able to get a gym badge from Kabu. We like to get together, see him off, as a way of showing our support. So allow me to send you off with a proper sporty chat. <laughs> I'm not reading that because I'm so stunned by the face that he is making. All of that seriousness just disappeared with this. <laughs> Gym leaders you face ahead are all tough opponents. But I believe you will prevail. Believe in your Pokemon and keep pushing on. Thank you all. And to keep winning, you've got to if we want to face off the Champion Cup after all. <laughs> Come on, let's head for Hammerlock. Let's do it. That, that right there, I'm not gonna lie, I, I said partly as a joke that I loved him the best because of how serious and more grown up he was. That actually just seriously proves it. <laughs> Hello again, Wild Area, my old friend. I've come back to you even stronger than before. Same, actually. Hammerlock is up that way. Got it? So we gotta go down there and across the bridge. And yeah, you gotta certainly rush straight there without a single detour. But now that you and I have a few gym badges, we should be able to catch stronger Pokemon. So I know what I'm doing. I'll be catching myself some amazing Pokemon to fill in the next page of my Tale of Legend. Don't waste your efforts. It's not like either of you would ever make it through the gym challenge anyway. The champion really must have been off his rocker to endorse the likes of you. I mean, it seems Hop here can't even throw a Pokeball properly. Rubbish. Well, like I don't know enough to recognize greatness when you see it. 
My throws are the greatest, and my bro is the finest champion the world has ever seen. I'm not gonna listen to you insult him. How tiresome. Fine, I'll battle you over there. Maybe that will help you finally understand just how weak you are. I actually wonder who will lose. I think Bede is the one who stands a chance of winning. I'm not gonna lie. Hop's my best friend and all in the game, but I honestly think Bede will beat him to death. I know you challenged D to a battle in Gallarmine 2 and lost to him there, and I'm his greatest rival. In other words, there's no way you're beating me. I'll just prattle about him and the champion and whatnot. Do you have any uh, anything of your own show? I'll show this Wally my real skills in battle. So see you later. Let's meet up in Hammerlock when I'm through with him. And now I go to the, uh, wait a minute. They fully healed my Pokemon, so actually I'm not going back in town to end the episode. I'm ending it here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, leave a like or subscribe to see more content like this in the future. I will look around the wild area real quick before I continue onward, see if there are any more Pokemon to fill in the Pokedex with. But if not, I will see you guys in a moment. So... Take it easy, everybody, and stay sharp.